CI Becker back again. Uh, we are going to go over how to properly iron your cast uniform. So before we start, I just want to take a couple minutes to go through some of our supplies. So ironing board works best if you don't have one. You can use um, a towel on a table or on a bookshelf, something like that, but this is really your best option. Um, and you're going to want to invest in an iron. Um, so as you can see, there's different different settings on your iron. You want something with lots of steam. So you're going to put it all the way over to steamy six. So we'll let that warm up. Actually, I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. We'll go between four and five, but lots of steam. So the dress uniforms that cadets have are made of polyester, which means that unfortunately, if you put something hot on them, it's going to melt and it's going to look shiny and odd. So you want to have a a rag, something cotton, like a little dish towel or something like that, that you can get wet to put over top of your um, uniform so that you do not burn it. So we're just going to let our iron warm up here. So there are three different parts of your dress uniform. Your green button-up shirt, your dress tunic, and your green dress pants. So all of these need to be ironed. These are worn for CO's parade um, and generally at summer camp once that becomes a thing we're able to do again. So I'm going to go through how to iron each different part. Before I get started though, um, one pet peeve, wash your green shirts after cadets. If you've worn this, throw this in the wash because otherwise, I don't know if you can see, but you get this gross brown sludge on the collar and that is awful. So make sure you give them a wash. So with this one, we don't necessarily want any creases in it, but we don't want any wrinkles in it either. So that's why we're going to be ironing this. Just our iron. See if it's warm. Yep. Good. Okay. So first things you're going to do is go to the front, and we're going to wrap it just around the side of the ironing board. So you want to make sure that there are no wrinkles. So this one is cotton, so you don't need to worry so much about that cloth over top. I'm just going to iron it to get rid of all of those wrinkles. When it comes to the pockets, you don't have to do anything too crazy. You just need to iron the pocket underneath the cover and then iron the flap on over top. Okay, I'll show you what I'm show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so you can see how you're just ironing, getting rid of those wrinkles, just going underneath the buttons, flap there, and then just once over to keep it down, and then again just to keep, get rid of those wrinkles. You're not putting any creases in, just getting rid of the wrinkles. So once you're done one side, we're going to move around to the back of the shirt. So you're just going to keep sliding it around your ironing board there. So this one does actually have some creases in it, so I'll, take, I'll show you those here real quick. So if you look at your back of your shirt here, you've got one crease there, and you've got one crease there, but notice how they don't go down the whole length of the shirt. So what we're going to do with that is we are going to just iron just underneath that crease there, get rid of all the wrinkles in the rest of the shirt, and then just fold it over just at the top, but you don't need to go down any further than that. See? So now you have one formed crease right here, and then nothing on the rest of your shirt. So we're just going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Best tip I can give you for ironing is make sure your tunic or your shirt or whatever you're ironing is flat on the board. Because if it's not flat, you're going to get weird crinkles and creases that you don't want on the other side of your piece of uniform here, ironing. There we go. And just go ahead and do the last 
across the front side here. Let's get rid of all those wrinkles. You don't want your iron too hot, otherwise it'll burn your fabric. That's why we like lots of steam and not as much heat. Now for the shoulders, what you're going to do is take it halfway down and then iron a crease right along the edge top there. Flip your shirt over and iron the back side. That elbow or that uh, sleeve. See? Now you can see how that's nice, sharp, crisp line. As compared to our other wrinkly side. So then just do the same thing, pull it down in half. That's where you're going to put your crease. this up so that we don't get wrinkles again and we can move on to our next uniform part. So now we're going to go over our dress tunic. So again we're not putting any creases in this one we're just getting rid of wrinkles but to do that we got to get take this belt out first. So we are going to take that out. There we go. So this one is made of polyester. So if I were to iron directly on the fabric, it's gonna get shiny and it's gonna look odd. So we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna use our blue cloth here. The so same thing, you're just gonna put this on your ironing board. And there's something left over in the pocket of this one. Polishing cloth, so we're gonna take that out. So we're just going to take our wet cloth, put it down over top here, and then we can give it a go. So just be careful not to iron over top of buttons. And feel where you're going first. This part does not have any creases in it at all. So if you have a crease in your tunic, iron it flat. There should be no, no sharp creases anywhere. It's a really good time to get a lint brush to pick up any animal hair and make sure you've got no fluff there. So this is also a really good time if you're forming your beret. Just double check, make sure you've got, got it drying how you want it to dry. Remember left eye, two fingers, 
and fold it over to the right. So with your uniform, make sure you're always hanging it up after you're done ironing it, because otherwise what's the point if you're just going to throw it in a pile? You're going to have creases in it later. So that looks nice and sharp, crease free, and that'll look nice and spiffy when you're ready for officer's parade. Okay, so ironing your cadet pants, dress pants, are probably the trickiest one you're going to do. Simply because if you put the crease in the wrong spot, it's super obvious, and <laughs> it's really hard to get up. So I'm going to show you how to fold your pants first to be able to get the crease in the right spot. So you've got your pants. Don't worry about the top. We're going to go straight to the bottom. So if you look at a pant leg, you can see how there's a seam. There's one in the front and there's one in the back. So I want you to line those seams up. That way your pant leg is going to fold straight. So we've done that on one side. Tuck that in. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So take your one seam in the front, one seam in the back, and we're going to line them up so that they are matching nice. Now we're going to take all four of those seams, front and back, front and back, and we're going to line them up. So that way, if you fold your pants like this, you're going to get a nice straight seam in the front and a nice straight crease in the back. So this is how you want to fold your pants when you go to hang them. You can fold them over a hanger like so, or you can hang them up with clips. But this is how you're going to want to check your pants to make sure you're ironing in the right spot, because otherwise your creases will be um, off. Or you'll have two creases and it'll look like railroad tracks, and that is not good. So now we're going to go through how to iron the pants. So these ones you're going to lay flat on your ironing board, kind of keeping those markers that we talked about in the same, those seams all lined up. So now this one's a little bit more complicated. So you're going to lay it flat down and then you're going to lift one leg, pant leg, up and out of the way. So we're going to iron the bottom pant leg first. So this one is really important to use a wet cloth because you're going to be ironing over it multiple times and if you don't, you'll get shiny creases that'll look odd. So, we are gonna iron one side here first. Starting at the bottom and working our way up to the crotch. going to show you. So one side you can see I've ironed and one side I haven't. One side looks nice and crisp, that nice sharp edge. The other one just looks kind of wrinkly and sloppy. So we're going to iron from the bottom all the way up to about here. You don't need creases right on the very front of your leg. They just need to be on the pant leg. So that's all we're going to iron. So you may need to get your cloth wet again, but that's okay. And then we're going to do the other side of the pant leg here.
right, so now remember that pant leg that we folded up and out of the way? We're gonna fold it down now. And we're gonna iron that side of those pant legs. This is where it's really important to make sure that you're lined up well and that your pants are laying flat because otherwise you'll iron a weird crinkle into the bottom leg. side here. Now that that's done, we're going to take our pants and we're going to flip them completely over. Now we're going to do the exact same thing again. So lift that one pant leg up. We're going to iron the bottom one first, both sides, and then we'll do the top after that. Extra nice crisp creases. Make your uniform stand out. So now that I've done both front and the back, I'm going to put my second leg back down and we're going to do it again. This is a really good way to check, make sure there's no odd creases, make sure your creases that you want are nice and sharp and there's no wrinkles in anywhere else on your pants. Okay. 